I am not a physician, nor do I have any medical training. If you choose to use anything mentioned herein, it is at your own risk and discretion. I disclaim any responsibility for any harm caused to anyone who chooses to participate in this diet. This diet is what I have arrived at as my own conclusions after my own research and all information I put forth is my own opinion. There is no guarantee that this will give you satisfactory weight loss or that it will help you meet your health goals if you choose to try it. The Forever Diet by Trish McLeod, All Rights Reserved After many different diets, I arrived at different conclusions. Some are, one, the diet needs to be relatively based on what I think of as healthy and nutritionally sound. Longevity and health seem to be best with a deficit of calories or low caloric intake. Number two, if I don't have a sensible outline of what to eat, I tend not to eat rationally and binge. Number three, it needs to be a plan I can return to possibly for life if I misstep or break. Number four, eating clean individual items and natural, not mixed food is best. Number five, I must allow alternate choices. Number six, it must be simplistic and easy to follow. Number seven, I must have foods I enjoy. And a weekly snack is allowed, though breakfast is like a treat. Number eight, avoid sugar. Blood sugar effect of foods as well as protein, fiber, and calcium are considerations as to food choices. Attempt to eat all meals within an eight-hour window, having the last meal no later than four. This assumes you have a normal waking hour. This is partially based on intermittent fasting. Based on these... I introduce you to the forever diet. My portions are based on calories needed. There are many online calculators where one can find proper portion for weight loss or maintaining your chosen weight. For sweetener, I use sweet leaf stevia, but there are others that may be preferred. I avoid sugar other than the 70% dark chocolate for breakfast, butter or olive oil, and any spices allowed for flavor on protein, fats, and vegetables. Breakfast. Number one, nuts. Number two, raisins. Number three, dark chocolate. And number four, a cup of skim milk. At any meal, milk may be hot or cold chocolate made with unsweetened cocoa and stevia or other sweetener of choice. Milk may be swapped for coffee tea or lemonade with stevia sweetener. Lunch. Number one, a serving of animal source of protein fat. For vegetarian, this is a slice of cheese, cottage cheese, an egg or non-fat plain yogurt with stevia sweetener. Number two, nuts. Number three, a serving of fruit. Number four, a cup of skim milk. Num dinner is number one, a serving of animal source protein and fat. Number two, a serving of higher glycemic vegetable or a slice of bread. Number three, a serving of low glycemic vegetable. Number four, a cup of skim milk. Those with nut allergies would need to swap out another protein fat for nut servings. Vegans, of course, would have to swap tofu or some other type of non-animal protein in for animal source protein fat, a different beverage allowed if one has a milk allergy. Snacking is not allowed between meals 
due to insulin cortisol output on any type of food from my understanding. Water and other non-calorie beverages are allowed, though caution on type of sweeteners as some stop weight loss if that is the goal. The assumption is if you have tried many diets, you may already know what high glycemic vegetables are and low glycemic vegetables are. High glycemic usually are starch based and low are not, but there are many online sources to research these if you are not familiar. Well, there you have it. That's the forever diet. It's right up front as so many diet books tell long details beforehand and that was frustrating to me. Bottom line, I read lots of findings and statistics, etc. In the end, I just wanted the diet outline so I could have something to follow. This diet has been a lifetime in the making. I have always been working toward getting it just right. I have spent a fortune on diet books over the years and spent countless hours reading articles and listening to videos on weight loss and health to finally arrive at this list of foods in this diet. This may be a highly disappointing read, but here is the surprise. There is my old forever diet coming on the next page, which may be more to your liking. The thing is, at the time I formulated it, I was not concerned about possible inflammation-causing foods. Alternate Original Forever Diet. Portions were measured to be normal servings as indicated on labels. Brush breakfast was number one, Quaker Oats granola with fruit and nuts small amounts of bran added number two cup of milk lunch number one sandwich made with meat and vegetables number two a cup of milk dinner is the same as the newer version of the forever diet and uh, it was the dinner as one serving of animal source protein and fat to a serving of high, higher glycemic vegetable or a slice of bread and three a serving of low glycemic vegetables a cup of and a cup of milk skim milk still unsatisfied yes it's a small amount of food but that is the point it is a diet if it's not enough food, make portion sizes larger or add a small salad to lunch, a fruit to dinner, another vegetable or piece of bread. It, it's meant to be a forever plan. It may work to switch off between the two plans one every other day to suit whatever you desire. Basically, the point is to have a basic guide. My guides or food choices may not suit your needs at all but have been worked out through my own trials and errors and health has become the main focus in my own case. Good luck on your own health journey. I know not a lot is expounded on as to why I have chosen the foods I have, but every one has been chosen after much thought, care, and consideration, a lifetime of such. I leave to the reader to research and choose types of fruits, vegetables, meats, nuts, alternate drinks, alternate foods, and additions, etc. Don't forget you get a snack a week. Here's to your health. This may not exactly be a book, but my dad always wanted me to write one, so I dedicate this mini book to him. The end. <laughs>